brothers wish. The brothers wish, brothers wish. The brothers wish. The brothers. You're now listening to Greg. All right, guys. This is Tommy with the Brothers Wisp. I'm here with Roddick Zimba. Yeah. With Five Brain, right? Exactly. Awesome. I'm so glad I was able to pronounce that correctly. Whoa. I've been freaking about about that for a little while <laughs> since I met you guys yesterday, because um, uh, it's uh, you guys have a really cool product. So. What all do we have here? It's, it's a huge table of stuff. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so first of all, is a uh, Fibrain is um, is a turnkey uh, manufacturer of the fiber products. So we started from the cables, but as well we add active equipment to fill the gap and offer turnkey solution for the operators that are trying to transition from wireless into the fiber. Okay, cool. So and then yesterday, you guys really like you have a bunch of different cable stuff. A lot of people have cool cable stuff, and it's actually pretty nice looking stuff. I'll take some pictures and I'll show you guys here in a second what that looks like. But your guys is uh, Hul Hulney? Yeah, that's Line? correct. Oh man, all right. <laughs> this is really cool stuff, and I'm, I'm actually really excited to hear about this. So what is the like cool key factor that imp should impress everybody about Hulney? Sure. So the key factor is actually the interoperability. So uh, what we recognize is that uh, major telcos, they all use unbundled solutions. So they use OLTs and ONTs from different vendors, but actually some of the ISPs, they have no access to that unbundle because they have no expertise. They think that basically if the GPON is a standard that everyone should follow it. But the truth is that the reality is a bit tricky. Some of the vendors, they trying to use some vendor locking mechanisms to basically ensure that their sales gonna be with you for all the time. And we actually came here to promote the interoperability that can be used as well for the small ISPs, for the medium sized ISPs, and it's actually pretty easy. Pretty easy uh, intercompatibility. So who are you intercompatible with? Okay, so on our list there's like 11 vendors. Um, of course, there are major uh, OLT vendors from US. We also have vendors from US that can, uh, from China, that actually you can use in the RIP projects. Uh, but as well, uh, we are not limiting ourselves to, to basically even get into our bundle with the new supplies. I can name companies like uh, Atran, Calix, Nokia, DZS, which is both Dassen and Zone, including their legacy products. Uh, as well, we have the products like Huawei and ZT on our list. So frankly speaking, uh, I believe the, the magic is that uh, our interoperable software is included in the box. There is no additional licensing and there is no additional job needed to get the products working. So this means that in case we are talking about interoperability, it's actually truly plug and play. Yep. This means that uh, in case you want to switch from, for example, from Nokia to DGS, you just unplug the fiber from one OLT, plug it to another OLT, and the products will start working for both triple play, for all triple play services, including IPTV multicast, including voice over IP, including high speed internet. So that's the magic. We actually shown that on the movie, so maybe uh, we will also share you with the link yep. so you can see how easy it is. Oh yeah, definitely. So that'll be at the bottom of the video, guys, um, along with the link for their website. Um, so what about management stuff? Because I'm a management yeah. fiend and uh, you guys really impressed me with what you guys support. Sure. The interoperability is one thing and usually uh, when uh, operators are kind of uh, trying to say about uh, to, to when some vendors is uh, mentioning about the interoperability, they first, first of all, they start about single family unit, which is the bridge box. Um, it's pretty easy. But actually, as you mentioned, my management, we are talking about the products that have the Wi-Fi, like Wi-Fi 6, Easy Mesh, and that stuff. So how to make those products working? Now, the first of all, the management system, we offer three provisioning methods. Um, of course, Tier 069, it's something which is an industrial standard. Mm -hmm. Not every uh, not every ISP have ACS in the field. That's why we also um, uh, allow to provision the products with the use of DHCP option. Okay. Um, that's uh, pretty easy. You can uh, the, basically the device uh, will get information uh, from the DHCP server about the file that they can download from the FTP server. And this file includes all the information you need. And the third option is something that we are trying to promote is uh, 
provisioning plus telemetry. This means that our products have REST API on their management interface, and you can include, uh, you can actually get information about who is connected to which Wi-Fi. So whether it is he is connected to 2.4 or 5 gigahertz, you can call all those information in the real time. Which is key factor because we know that with the COVID, the game has changed. We cannot dispatch the engineer, the people working from home, and they expect that the internet is going to be fixed in on the call with the subscriber yeah. on the call so this means that basically with the real time you get all those information you can proceed it and make some action wow man that is really awesome so Thank you. uh you've given me some really cool information about your uh gpon and xg xgs pond um what what a whole all the whole line here like i've seen six gig or wi-fi six uh yeah. and then uh different models there um so let me show you a couple you of the things that yeah. uh, that uh, that are pretty cool let me start from the from the simple bridge product which actually has 2.5 gigabit lan okay. so uh most of the fee people were focusing about fiber up to one gig but if you want to we go ahead uh through the audio competition you can start offering the internet like 1.2 okay this is just 200 max more but if people are just comparing the numbers, you can offer for the same number, basically higher speed, get a customer, so you have better penetration. That's something that uh, helps you out. Uh, this is one of the uh, nice products, and this is actually bridge products with the voice over IP 2.5. One of the LAN can be connected to the setup box, so you have triple play, and a uh, subscriber can connect their wireless router in case you don't want to provide it in that, in that so-called two box solution. We also have the product, which basically has the Wi-Fi 6 uh, Wi-Fi embedded. And on the back, we have the Gpon port. Uh, we have- I like uh, the built-in tray for, for the Exactly. Loop. Yeah, that's actually kind of handy. Yeah, this is the kind of the tray that ensure that the product will be mounted correctly. Mm -hmm. Also, what we found that the, most of the product, uh, most of the problem with the Wi-Fi are actually rated that the subscriber will just hide the products be behind some, some of the furnitures yeah. that actually will attenuate the Wi-Fi. If you are actually in Installing with the with our uh, outlet, then basically we ensure that the position and the radiation of the Wi-Fi is in the correct way. That's something that will help out in most of the cases. And uh, and, and the last thing that uh, that is worth to mention, we know that the supply chain issue is something that is still we are struggling with it. So this product is actually so-called multi-gateway. So the last port can be used as an Ethernet van. So in case, for example, your fiber rollout is not there yet, but your customer is complaining or, or your current AP access point, you can, you can give the, the device as a Wi-Fi 6 router. And once the fiber is going to be ready, you can just connect it and change it to the ONT. Okay. So you have uh, first one SKU on like, stock. Yeah, extremely Makes flexible. Sense. Yeah, extremely right. flexible. And that's not the last thing because that device is also Easy Mesh controller. Easy Mesh is a truly open and the only one currently open standard for the creating a mesh inside the inside subscriber house. And it's also interoperable. So you can use different agents from different vendors. And that product is, is already have Easy Mesh controller capability. So this means that basically you can utilize and build in a full full home Wi-Fi coverage and that's not the last thing because that product is multi-gateway we also know that some of the operators struggling to keep uh, uh, equivalent amount of equipment on their on their stock and like uh, they don't know how much agents they're gonna need so um, you can change the mode of that product the operation of the of that product to easy mesh agent as well why because if your installer is doing some wi-fi installation inside subscriber house and he already noticed that the coverage will basically gonna be bad he can take the device that he has on track so he's not gonna come back that's a saving because that saves the money yeah yeah and I mean, he can utilize honestly a truck roll for me is gonna cost more than that device exactly yeah. so the best uh, easy mesh agent is the one that you already have at your truck yeah so that's this is the case where you uh, change that device uh, from just simple NT to access point to the easy mesh controller easy mesh agent so in case in the future for example when the EGSP is gonna come and you will just this uh, dismount that device you can still use it as an easy mesh agent which is gonna be pretty decent and um, Last thing that I want to mention is that we just make that sp space intentionally blank because we can print your logo. This means that we are exposing your brand and also you can uh, 
show to the subscribers who you are because what we found is like according to study from major telcos is like not every subscriber is aware who is their provider so there was a case that they um, they, they um, actually mentioned that three percent of the calls on their help desk is actually not coming from their subscribers same three percent of the calls could be from the subscribers that want to buy some additional service but they are not calling you so it's kind of nice to put some information here you can also uh, you know, change the color if you want, because uh, mm -hmm. our top covers can be customized. Uh, this means that you can refurbish the products on your site as well. Uh, so that's that's something that uh, that you can we make develop. Match yeah. for you, your company and your branding. That's super awesome. Well, thank you. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, you guys have a full line of all their really cool fiber stuff. I'll be taking pictures of that. Is there anything you really wanted to mention really quick? Yeah. Also, the last thing is like. Uh, uh, we, we have uh, super cool partners that can deliver you also the OLTs that are open. So this means that you can, you can uh, install central office equipment and use different bunch of products, not only ours. In case we are missing some products like uh, that, uh, that you want to use, you can use other ONTs with that OLTs because we, we believe that actually uh, interoperability is not reserved for the big telcos. It's also something that the VISP can use and they will have benefit from that. We also have partnership with the guys that build management system that uh, that utilize REST API, all those provisioning stuff. So whatever subscriber is calling you and is complaining on the service, uh, you have uh, you have one complete system that monitor OLT, your fiber infrastructure, ONTs, Wi-Fi at home. You can perform some action and solve the issue on the call with the subscriber. And all those all those stuff are actually open you can you can change it you can actually replace them you can develop it on your own so there is no trick there's no vendor locking that's the beauty oh cool so uh what is this nms system called it's openllt.com openllt.com all right well i'll be linking that as well at the bottom of the video thank guys. you so much all right well really appreciate your time have thank a you. wonderful day thank you take care hey guys um just uh wanted to say there was a lot of pictures I took and I was just wanting to show you guys a couple other stuff that we didn't directly talk about but Fibrain's got some really cool other products here so I'm just going to show you a stream of these pictures there's splice cases there high density patch panel platform stuff and and launch cable stuff so just a whole bunch of stuff there's a ton of fiber products at the show and uh, they had a uh, full line of stuff so enjoy i guess the brothers wisp let's take a ride through space on this mothership wireless networking we talk about equipment and methodology so sit back and start learning lighting up the tower so people can start searching shooting up the web and neighborhoods net surfing we got horrible jokes we're loud and annoying but we're informative facts we're not disappointing just give us a listen because fun is the mission i'm telling you you don't know what you are missing ideas and some good comedy given if you missed the show already don't worry you're for Kippin'.